Robert Hunter Caldwell was a singer, songwriter, and musician from the United States. He released a number of albums in the genres of R&B, soul, jazz, and adult contemporary. His soulful and versatile vocals are well known. Bobby Caldwell, a multi-genre singer-songwriter, died Tuesday, according to his wife, Mary. He was 71. His wife said he died of fluoroquinolone toxicity after an antibiotic he was prescribed in 2017 wreaked havoc on his body. An official cause of death has not been released. With a runny nose and cough, he was prescribed that, and it never should have happened, but it did, and it's irreversible if you get hit really hard, like he did, she explained. It just causes havoc. Dimitrios Mimis Papayonu was a Greek professional footballer who primarily played as a forward for AK Athens and later became a manager. His nickname was the Vlach, due to his origin. Papayonu was never shown a red card during his entire career, demonstrating his character's prudence and integrity. Mimis Papayonu, one of Greece's greatest footballers, has died in Athens. He was 81. Papayonu was regarded as the best Greek footballer of his generation, and the International Federation of Football History and Statistics named him the best Greek footballer of the 20th century, IFHS. In 2021, he was also named to Greece's all-time best XI by the IFHS. Dick Fosbury, the Olympic high jump champion who revolutionized the event with a radically different jumping technique that was eventually named after him, died at the age of 76. At the 1968 Olympic Games in Mexico City, Fosbury won gold in the high jump by jumping back first to clear the bar, a technique that has since been dubbed the Fosbury flop and is used by all high jumpers today. The American set a then Olympic record of 2.24 meters to win gold and forever changed the sport, with more athletes attempting the back first jump as the technique gained acceptance. South African rapper Costa Titch died suddenly this weekend, his family said on Instagram, hours after performing at a music festival. The musician, whose real name is Konstantinos Tsobanoglu, was 28. Footage circulating on social media appeared to show Tsobanoglu fall over on stage before being lifted up by someone beside him. Tsobanoglu then gets up for several seconds before apparently collapsing. It is with deep pain that we find ourselves having to acknowledge his passing at this time, Tsobanoglu's family said in a post on his Instagram. We are thankful for those emergency responders and all those present in his last hours. The statement did not mention a cause of death. Robert Blake, the Emmy Award-winning performer who went from acclaim for his acting to notoriety when he was tried and acquitted in the killing of his wife, died Thursday at age 89. A statement released on behalf of his niece, Noreen Austin, said Blake died from heart disease, surrounded by family at home in Los Angeles. Blake, star of the 1970s TV show, Beretta, had once hoped for a comeback, but he never recovered from the long ordeal which began with the shooting death of his wife, Bonnie Lee Backley, outside a Studio City restaurant on May 4, 2001. The story of their strange marriage, the child it produced, and its violent end was a Hollywood tragedy played out in court.